we're just so fortunate to have them. If we didn't have them in our business, our, our business would be nowhere near as successful as it is. So the purpose of the Employment Advisory Boards is to go into the prison and assess what they're doing in terms of getting prisoners into employment, see where the gaps are and see what the culture is because it's very important to develop a culture of work. It is to link up other employers with the prison and make ambitious yet achievable employment goals for an establishment. So my ultimate vision for the Employment Advisory Boards is that they're in every prison that releases people. They work incredibly effectively. The governors see them as a fantastic tool to help their men and women get a job and not come back. And then we start seeing the reoffending figures come down. We see the number of people leaving prison into work going up. And that to me is where we want to get to. Even just having the process of a board and getting 10 people all around the table and let the conversation happen and dots start getting joined. Every month there's at least one employment event where um, people are coming in to actually look at offering real jobs to prisoners and after every single event we've been actually having job offers off to prisoners. The most recent was just last week where Green King um, offered eight people employment after one interview day. In the prison that I represent, Warren Hill, it's for long term. So some of these guys have been there for a long while, 10, 15, 20 years. And so you need a bit of education into real life work. So we understand that employers who want to work with us will have concerns about, about taking on um, um, prisoners when they leave prison. But we know we've got a huge amount of talent um, already in the prison. So a lot of our men have had jobs in the past. They have skills, they have untapped talent. So I find is that you've got this not only capable, but energetic and loyal employee. The starting point is the quality of the relationship between the governor and the chair. Very fortunate in Berwyn. Nick is a governor who really embraces the scheme, is open to suggestion. It's not just about employment. A vision would be that people have got a job, but they've also got accommodation. But we've thought about their family ties and we're releasing people with a greater chance of not coming back into uh, custody at the end.